And Dr. Zakia, perhaps you could shed some light on the issue of why it is that the uh, Muslims of the world are not united as regards to the fasting and the celebration of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. As far as Muslims throughout the world be united in starting the month of Ramadan, ending the month of Ramadan and celebrating Eid, there are scholars which are divided. There is one group of scholars who say that throughout the world you should follow the timing of Makkah. So if Makkah starts the month of Ramadan, everyone throughout the world should follow Ramadan. If Makkah ends Ramadan, then everyone throughout the world should end Ramadan. And if Makkah celebrates Eid, then everyone else in the world should celebrate Eid. And this is the view even of Sheikh bin Baz, when a person asked him that he was a Saudi who traveled to Spain, and he said that I have been fasting according to the calendar of Makkah. When Makkah, they started fasting, I started fasting in Spain according to Makkah, and ended fasting according to Makkah, and celebrated either according to Makkah. Is it right? And Sheikh bin Baz said, there's no problem, it is right, because Makkah is a holy city. But the other group of scholars, they disagree and they say that the timings should be according to the area. There should be time zones. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 185, that if you sight the moon, so those who sight the moon, those who witness the moon, or those who are present at home, in the month, they should fast. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three in the book of fasting, hadith number 1907 and 1909, the Prophet said that when you see the new moon of Ramadan, then you start your fast, and when you see the new moon of Shawwal, then you end the fast. So based on this, the people of that area should see the moon, and if that area is common, it may be one city, it may be a full country, or a couple of countries, together, that is right ruling. And Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah says that you cannot have that all together. You cannot have all the Muslims in the world fasting together. And he also says that even according to scientific evidence, even according to astronomical evidence, it's not possible that all the Muslims throughout the world can fast on one day. Because the moon cannot be sighted all together on one day. There has to be difference. So it's illogical to say that we should fast all together. And the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Tirmidhi, Book of Fasting, Hadith number 697, that the fast is when you all fast. And the breaking of fast is when you all break the fast. And the day of sacrifice is when all the people sacrifice. So as long as people of that area, they fast, it is sufficient that is fasting. And when people of that area, that locality, that city or country, if they break the fast, then break the fast. Because as we see, that there is no difference of opinion as far as the timings of sun is concerned. As far as starting of the each day, as far as when the day starts and the day ends, there is no difference of opinion. It's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 187. It says that eat and drink until the white thread of dawn is distinguished from the black thread and fast till the night falls until the sun sets. So here, in each part of the world, the sun sets earlier. That does not mean because in Malaysia the sun sets earlier, in Bombay I will end my fast earlier. So that means the people in Makkah also should end it early. And if in the Western world the sun sets a bit late, I'll also end my fast late. There is unanimous agreement throughout the world that you have to follow the timing of the sun according to your local timing. If the sun sets in your area, then you stop fasting and you can eat. If the dawn breaks in your area, then you stop eating and you start fasting. There is no difference of opinion. So as we follow the sun, we should even follow the moon the same way. Imagine if we celebrate Eid, if the new moon of Shawwal is sighted in Makkah, and we celebrate Eid, maybe in America, in the West, the moon may have been sighted one day earlier. That means they have to celebrate Eid one day later. And in Pakistan or India, the new moon will be sighted one or two days later. So does it mean that they have to celebrate Eid in the month of Ramadan? And imagine those people, if they are for a Makkah timing, they'll have to fast even on the day of Eid. 
in America, where the moon may be seen one day earlier, that means they will have to fast on the day of Eid, which is haram. Prophet said you cannot fast on the day of Eid. So here we realize that we have to follow the same rule as we follow for the time of the sun. Otherwise, there will be a big chaos and it will not be practically possible. And many people who say that, you know, how is it possible that, you know, Muslims in different parts of the world have Eid on different days? It's normal. We are used to having different timings in the sun. The morning time, when it's daytime in India, it is nighttime in America. We don't say, oh, how is the nighttime there and daytime here? When I mean, it's nighttime here, it's daytime there. We don't say, oh, what a stupid thing that people are united. Because that is the way it is. The timing of the sun differ. And the timing of the sun in the full world, it differs by 24 hours. Zero minute to 24 hours. It depends upon which longitude is your area. If it is the same longitude, then the timing would be same. And the world is divided into 360 degrees, 360 longitudes. Each longitude, it differs by four minutes. So if you travel by 15 longitudes, then there'll be a difference of one. So 360 multiplied by four comes to 1,440 minutes. That's equal to one full day. So the world is divided into time zones. Now, just for the betterment, for ease, what we do, that though India has got more than 15 degrees longitude, yet the time is common. They take a center point and they say whether it's Bombay or Gujarat, one end of India, or whether it's Assam, the other end of India, the breadth, yet they follow the same timing. They take the central time. But in countries like USA, the width is much more. It is more than 30 degrees. The timing may differ for more than two hours, but they have approximately four time zones. The time in Los Angeles is two hours earlier than the time in New York. So it differs. So there it will be imagined, person phones from New York to Los Angeles, and he wonders that they're there two hours earlier, but this is how the time zones are divided, and people are living with it. The same way people fail to realize that as far as scientific evidence for moon is concerned, the new moon can differ by one or two days. It is scientific. It's not possible that the new moon can occur throughout the world on the same day. It's not possible. It is unscientific. And I had just spoken to a scientist who was specialized in the field of astronomy. Just London had been there. And he told me that one or two days is common. Sometimes there can even be a difference of three days. Sighting the moon, from one part of the world to the other part of the world, it can be a difference even of three days. And once in a blue moon, it can even go up to four days. It may happen, I don't know, once in a thousand years. I don't know, he gave some calculation, which I don't understand. But normally, differing by one or two days is common. It is scientific. The new moon cannot be sighted on the same day throughout the world. How the sun cannot rise on the same day throughout the world. So here people fail to realize that celebrating same day throughout the world will be unscientific and it will be un-Islamic also. Because when you have to have two witnesses to sight, only when two witnesses sight, as the beloved Prophet said, can the people of that area celebrate. What we can have for convenience, people in a few cities then have one area of sighting the moon, or one full country can have one common area of sighting the moon, or a couple of countries if they're close and fall in the same area, they can have. But throughout the world, it's not possible, and it is not even scientific. So I agree with Sheikh Ibn Taymi and Sheikh Utaymi when they say that it's not possible to have sighting of the moon throughout the world on the same day.